Hi, so this one was inspired by the Japanese old carbon battery that they were uh, busy going on about. And uh, it occurred to me when I was thinking about it that actually it was very similar to one of the implementations of the carbon cell. Now, a carbon cell talks about having two different metals, or a carbon and a metal, or in fact two different carbons. And the Japanese were rumbling on about their secret process on how to prepare this carbon. So I thought, hang on a sec, that might not be too difficult to unravel. So what I did was I took a piece of um, ordinary photocopy paper and I painted one side with some graphite and I painted the other side with some amorphous carbon. Now I got this amorphous carbon from this case actually from a charcoal briquette. I just ground up the charcoal briquette and made a paint out of it. I made a paint out of it using polyvinyl acetate. So I took some graphite in a cup, mixed it with some polyvinyl and lost it in water, painted it on here, did the same thing with the amorphous carbon, and painted it on here. So I've got two forms of carbon, either side, separated by a bit of paper, and um, I've got an electrolyte here of sodium carbonate, or washing soda. Now I've connected it up to my voltmeter, and it's on the millivolt reading, because obviously I'm not expecting wonderful things from this. And if I dip that into my electrolyte, and leave it to settle down. Now, when I painted this, what I effectively did was waterproof it. So the electrolyte has to take a little bit of time to actually get into the paper and be soaked up by the paper. So what we should see is as the electrolyte is being wicked into the paper, we should see that voltage go up. And hey presto, it is. <laughs> so it's still settling down, but we can see it's got to about 62 millivolts, which is about 6 milliamps. Uh, not earth shattering, but what we're talking about here is a piece of paper painted either side with um, carbon and then dropped into some uh, washing soda. And we're generating a voltage that's just lunacy. <laughs> Okay, let's pick it out. It should drop now because, of course, it's now out of the electrolyte, so that all the electrolyte that's in there is what's soaked into that paper, really, and it's going to dry out and we'll see it actually dropping again. But there you go, and <laughs> all paper, all carbon battery. How about that? So the secret Japanese process is perhaps uh, not that much of a secret. All you really have to do is follow what Carbon was saying. That is, get yourself two forms of carbon and um, paint up a piece of paper and you're going to have an all-carbon battery. Now, there are obvious improvements to make to this. I mean, uh, one thing that would be really, really good is if we, paint, if we stuck a current collector on it. So I put a couple of strips of copper on and painted over the copper to act as a current collector. That would probably do an awful lot um, to improve it because obviously we're picking up the current through the um, carbon only and there's quite a lot of resistance in that carbon so a lot of the power of that battery has been lost in overcoming the resistance of the dry bit of carbon that we're using to pick up the current from so that would be a vast improvement to this particular demonstration but um, as a sort of proof of concept I think that's really cool should anybody want to play with that it's um, actually quite easy to make yourself an old carbon battery. Anyway, I hope that was of interest to you. I certainly found it interesting. Look at that, we're now at 66. And thank you very much for watching.